prison guard or a prison guard test, and um, he wasn't too familiar with the area, and so he asked me to drive with him, and I said I would, and I thought, well, okay, um, since I got some hours to kill, you know, why don't I just uh, contact the guys at G4 and ask them if I can come by the studios and hang out, or, and what I've often, often suggested as well is, you know, like, let me film stuff behind the scenes, let me, like, do, like, little interviews with the staff and the writers, and, you know, put, you know, put that on the air, or put that on the, uh, the website so that uh, people can check that out. Because people will like that. People really would really dig that. Uh, in particular, like, the staffers who we see in the little skits they do. But, you know, they, they aren't on the show. So guys like Casey and Scott and Paul, who, uh, you know, we always see these little skits, but we never get a chance to uh, really interact with or we don't, like, know too much about them. I thought that would be real interesting to do. And, you know, uh, audience would really love it, too. No response. No response at all. The only person I got a response from was this girl um, actress, Becky Young, who is part of the Girls Gamer League. She's not part of them, part of the G4 network at all. Uh, her boyfriend is uh, Tommy Tellerico, who used to have a bunch of shows on G4. Or he still does, but uh, I don't think he really works with G4 too much. You know, I really know the girl. You know, I've interacted with her through the forums. And, you know, she gave me her phone number and email address. You know, and I was like, Wow. But no response from any of the guys. You know, any of the personalities and any of the staff members. You know, and I, I even suggested, like, well, after the show's over, you know, could we get together, meet at a bar or a restaurant, you know, and hang out and talk? Uh, you know, because my buddy Paul is really into uh, slasher films, and he, uh, uh, he'd probably get a kick out of it, you know, especially because these guys, you know, they do a lot of, or they do some, some of them do work with uh, Hollywood in particular, uh, like Zach Selwyn, he's done uh, some extra work on zombie movies and stuff like that, which my buddy Paul just loves. I mean, he, you know, he wanted, he originally wanted to go to Hollywood to become a makeup artist and do, you know, horror slasher films and stuff like that. So I, I think he would have totally d dug that. He would have really gotten a kick out of that. Um, just talk to this guy, Zach Selwyn, and, uh, you know, just hear his stories and stuff like that. Uh, no response either about that either. So it's just like, God, you know, like, why not? But, I mean, and I, I can I can see why, I understand why, because uh, legal could say, you know, if you start interacting with fans, problems could arise. Somebody could get hurt, somebody could, something could happen, somebody could try to steal from you, somebody could uh, try to use you. Um, there could be negative publicity, which, you know, G4, I guess, doesn't need... You know, frankly, G4 needs publicity. <laughs> you know, it's like the, the, their their golden boy is Kevin Pereira. He's appearing on different shows uh, across the you know the TV stations, but you know they need more notice. They need more people paying attention to him. They need they need publicity, even if it's negative publicity. Because I mean, look at PlayStation Three. Very little publicity for their new product. Negative publicity comes out saying everybody wants, you know, all these people are standing in line for a week to get the new product. They're turning around, selling it for exorbitant, you know, profit on eBay. People getting the fights, people getting robbed, people getting shot. You know, I see only a few commercials for PlayStation 3. And you know, what does that say to me? You know, PlayStation 3, they knew they couldn't, they couldn't really provide that many units to begin with. Um, and they kind of wanted it this publicity. They wanted this stuff to happen. They wanted people to wait in line and, you know, because they knew this would happen, in my opinion. So it's, this is free publicity. They saved themselves a million or whatever dollars and got all this free you know, press coverage. You know, because people are like, wow, why, why do people want this PS3? What's so special about it? You know, news reporters are going to talk about it. So there you go. You know, if G4 could have, like, a little negative, you know, press, a little negative attention, that might help. You never know. It just depends on what it is and how you spin it. How you work it. What else? But I mean, you know, the fan interaction also, you know, generates a lot of uh, material for the show to air. And, you know, that's why Kevin's forums and uh, the viewer voicemails work. Earlier, it's it's a flagship. Attack of the Show is a flagship in that how they're interacting with the fans, how they're making content based off of fan interaction. Um... And, you know, it's just, this is going to, you know, that's what works. That's what people like. That, you know, really should be part of the main focus of the show is that, you know, this fan interaction. You know, it's a bit of, you know, well, people get on the air, but it's also, 
it's why they focus have a lot of YouTube videos as well. That's the one thing I'm curious about too. Why isn't YouTube working with G4 and saying, "Hey, let's you know, let's make a show that's from YouTube." YouTube's got the money; they can you know put together their own show or pay G4 Studios to basically you know say, "Hey, G4, we'll give you videos. Give us a host. Give us writers. You know, or we'll provide our own hosts. You know, whatever. We'll pay you to basically." help promote our website, YouTube. You know, and as a result, you know, YouTube gets a big burst in uh, popularity. G4 gets a little, you know, cash income from uh, YouTube and from the commercialism. Why not? It could work. Where's Ebon's World TV program? Where is uh, Something Awful, you know, program? Where is, you know, what can I say? You know, there are so many popular websites out there. That you know, imagine if they had TV shows or TV show counterparts, even if they're like little half hour shows. You know, if you and if you had these 16 little half hour, uh, you know, whatever programs from the internet and stuff like that, go for a year, then look at them and decide okay, which ones are good, which ones are bad, which ones need to be changed. Maybe get rid of two, pick up two new ones, and keep doing that each year. You know, and even if they're ridiculous, silly programs. You know, it would be pretty impressive. It'd be unique. It'd be interesting. It'd be its own. It's its own. You know, you create your own audience. And that's what G4 needs to do: is create its own audience. Like I've said before. I guess uh, so. One of the other problems I have with uh, G4, or like really with Attack of the Show back in uh, their E3 days. And also with their Las Vegas coverage was a uh, a lot of a lack of talent of uh, content. There's very little substance to the shows. At E3, three hours a day for like four days in a row, and it was boring. They had about an hour's worth of show stretched into three hours. Lots of filler, lots of teasers, lots of promotion for their saint you know for themselves. And it's like why? why you know what was the purpose? Why do that? I, you know, I didn't understand. It, it became very boring. You know, very boring for me. That's going to turn viewers off. You don't want to turn viewers off. You want to keep their attention. You want them to feel like there is something new. And the other aspect is that, you know, so much of the stuff they covered was, um, you know, they only covered a few things. When they did have something new or unique, it's like, wow, that was pretty good. But so much, but it got so, you know, Sublimated, it got so overwhelmed by just like all oh, these big names, these big names, Gears of War, uh, PlayStation 3, the Wii. Like, okay, we heard about those things over and over again. And that was it. That was all, that was pretty much most all of the E3 coverage. You know, very disappointing, in my opinion. They, you know, and there's and there so many, there's so much more going on at E3. And they never showed any of it. There were so many games, so many companies, so many, like, just stands and stuff like that. And what are they talking about? The girls. You know, the booth babes. All right. I, you know, I can see a ten-minute segment about that, or, like, one segment. That's great. What about what, you know, what were they trying to sell? What was the product being sold? You know, that's what I'm curious about. That's what I would, you know, be interested in seeing. But... And, I, and I'm not trying to, you know, bag too much on G4, you know, but I'm just saying, I'm a viewer. I, I like the shows. I like the program. I like what you guys do. Just, you know, if you tease too much, it's like the boy cried wolf, you know. It's, you know, oh, you know, look at this, look at this. Well, I don't want to look anymore. I don't care. I'm not interested. So don't try to cram things down the viewer's throat or into the viewer's eyes because... And they close their eyes, they look away, they're not interested anymore. But I'm glad that, you know, G4 is getting back into, or especially Attack of the Show is getting back into, you know, information, infotainment. Make it entertaining, make it informative. Make the audience, you know, feel like they did learn something. Make them feel like they did, you know, that there is something cool and neat that they can use in their own lives. That's, you know, that's what the screensaver was about, in my opinion. I think that would work out. 